First up, I'm just gonna free up this piece of Romex by cutting off these zip ties. And then I'm going to cut the wires evenly and prep them for the splice kit. All right, so the way that this splice works is you're actually just gonna press the wires in without stripping them and, they're, and these little forks are gonna cut the insulation and make contact with the copper. Then you'll put this plastic top and you can see that has cradles in there and that is what's gonna press the wires down on those forks and make solid contact. That's also why you want to kind of preset your wires just to make it easier to line everything up, making sure your Romex goes through the middle, neutral, ground, and then the hot also is aligned. So then we'll put the cap on top. Then once you've confirmed everything is lined up, they actually show on the instructions to use channel locks to press those into the forks. Now here's all the wires lined up. The nice thing with this clear top is you can confirm that you have solid connections with the forks and they actually did cut the insulation. And then there's some mounting screws that will hold everything together. Get both of those started. Be careful not to strip these screws. All right, so there is one side completed. Now I'll do the other side. So now with the two halves, all you'll do is mate those up. So that's it for the splice. And you can see now we have solid Romex, solid Romex, everything contained within the splice. So we have no exposed wires. I know some people would prefer to then wrap this with electrical tape just to be confident that's all gonna stay together and it has another layer uh, there with the electrical tape, but that is gonna be up to you. you this is approved just as it stands without the electrical tape.